started that. Um, I feel just everybody on the sideline, we're just ready for somebody to get a play to, to put the momentum on our side. And uh, that was the biggest thing for us was just changing the momentum. I mean, they was up the whole time. We was making errors on offense. And uh, we just needed to make some big plays on, on offense just so we could change the momentum from their side to ours. Brandon, why do you think you're so effective tonight? Uh, I mean, just I, I definitely give everything to my offensive line. They came up, pushed everything. I mean, I had holes that was, I mean, anything could go through it. So I give credit to the offensive line and, and, and the Lord. Of, uh, <laughs> Take us through that play that you broke, right? The 55 yard run. I mean, I feel uh, it was a great call by Coach Trino. He seen what, what was going on on the field, and uh, he called it. It was a it was a, a, a audible call. He called it right then. He knew the, the safety was going to bail out, and uh, it was a great. That's, that's the best thing I can say. The best thing uh, Coach Trino called the play. And you look faster. Is, do you have any way of quantifying how much the weight loss has helped you in terms of speed? Yeah, I feel uh, my weight loss helped me tremendously, man. I feel it helps me with my explosiveness, and uh, I feel it does help my speed. And uh, I was a lot heavier last year, and I feel that that helped me a lot just being light on my feet now. What was that first half like on the sideline for the offense? I mean, it's tough for us. We're just trying to get our momentum. We know we're a great offensive team, and it's just taking one play for us to just get back into rhythm. And, uh, that's what we were trying to do the whole time. For Reggie, what did you see from from Lamar? What you see, what what were you saying? What was what was the sideline like? Uh, I mean, from Lamar, it's just a lot of maturity. You know, just encouraging everybody, even when things were going bad in the first half. You know, he was on the sideline, just encouraging everybody to stay level headed and just you know do what we've been practicing all week. And you know, we just listened to him and he led us. And then Rad had some explosive plays that sparked it off. So, what did Coach Petrino say at halftime? Uh, we just had to execute. I mean, it wasn't, it was just we, we weren't doing what we had done all week at practice. We had a good week of practice, so uh, we knew it came down to just us going out there and hearing the play call, knowing, knowing what we had to do, and then going to execute it. For Brandon, how key was it? The defense kept holding them to field goals early, and how key was it for the, for the defense to kind of help you out that way? Um, our motto was to hold a rope, and the defense definitely held a rope for us, man. We made some big, big turnovers. You know, we gave them short field. I know they was tired out there. We were just telling them, man, just keep holding the rope for us, and we're going we gonna to get back on the road, man. Just keep holding the rope. I mean, this captain right here, give him all the credit, dude, man. He keep those boys level-headed. Even though I know they was tired because they kept, we'll go out there three plays, and we'll give it right back to the defense. And uh, they held the rope. Brandon, on the uh, read option, uh, you know, it seems like the quarterback has to make that decision on whether to hand it or to give. How difficult is that to know when to – you know, grab the ball and go with it. How, how does that work? I mean, I feel we run that play so much in in uh, practice. It's just it's like second nature to us. We just we know how to roll with it. We know we know how to feel for each other. And then sometimes it's just you know it's football, man. You're gonna make some errors out there. And I mean, that's what practice for. We just got to get back in the, in the lab and, and, and clean everything up. For Keith, for Keith, they ran 73 plays, kept you out there for 38 minutes. I mean, what, what was it like for the defense to try to hold the rope? I mean, that's what we love, you know. We go out there, we got our brothers back, and we know they got our back. So we just got to go out there and hold the rope, you know. That's what we play the game for. So, I mean, each time we go out there, that's a chance to make a play and get our offense back the ball. Keith, were you aware that Clemson lost? I did see that towards the end of the game. I saw that. But like, we had to focus on our game. We had to take care of our business first. Keith, how does it feel to see a guy like Devontae or uh, Mr. Fields come out and have a game like he had, you know, have a breakout game finally after he's been struggling a little bit? How, how does that feel to you guys? Well, we knew it was coming, you know, just like last year, you know, towards the end of the season, he kind of started breaking through. And he's capable of being that type of impact player. And as you can see from the night, you know, he's getting back on the roll. You know, he's getting back healthy as well. So, I mean, they better watch out. <laughs> What's the last, like, sort of month or so been like for you that, I mean, you had those three or four straight 100-yard games to start mm -hmm. and then have had a little bit quieter month and then kind of explode again tonight? Oh, I feel, man, I just, I just say it's football. It's, Man, you're going to have some ups and you're going to have some downs. I mean, I had ups because I, I injured myself in the uh, North Carolina game, North Carolina State game. And uh, I mean, just battling through that, have a great staff in the uh, medical room to help us get back. And I mean, I just feel it was, it was just a way for me. Just got to get back on that wave. And I feel you just got to keep with football. You just got to keep going and uh, never get discouraged with how everything's going. I mean, for me, I really was just happy because I know we winning. So I'm always happy when we're winning. Washington losing late tonight. How much 
better do you think your position is than it was at the start of the day? Uh, I mean, we won, so and, and they lost. So I, I guess I don't know. We have to leave it up to the people upstairs and see what happens tomorrow or Monday. And, you know, we're just going to leave it at that. But we got to take care of our business first. I like our chances. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys were, it was 12-3 at the half. Was there anything said at halftime to the defense? You know, because you guys shut them out in the second half. Was there anything special that you guys said to just, you know, it's no more points? Or how does that work for the defense? Uh, we didn't say anything different. We didn't do anything different. Coach Grantham coached the same. We had the same game plan. We just went out there and executed, really. Mm -hmm. Keep the fatigue factor when you're on the field for 38 minutes as a defense. What's it like to have to handle that? I mean, we got a great strength and conditioning coaches. So, I mean, we, we don't really be tired out there. You know, they prepare us for that every day in practice. You know, we have a very up-tempo practice, a lot of running. Coach Petrino liked us to get real winded in practice. So, when we come to the game, it's like second to none. You just out there playing. Keith, there's a moment in the third quarter where uh, Jerry Alexander knocks down a pass on fourth down. Um, you get, get the ball back to the offense and you get a little dance. It's getting a lot of <laughs> attention. Did you see it? Did you see the little strut? Jaya did a dance? Yeah, yeah. I didn't see it. Didn't see I had it. to watch the film. Yeah, I, ain't, I ain't see it. I ain't see it. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what, what the dance is. I, see it. <laughs> I ain't no telling with Jaya. You know, he got so many different dances. Yeah, he a dancer, man. He, he love dancing. That's all he do. You try to score 34 points in the fourth quarter. Did it ever get to a point where you realize they're tired? You got them now. Well, yeah, you know, Coach P always says, you know, wear them down, beat the uh, body down, the mind will follow. So that's what we did. We just kept beating the body and eventually. Play where you were like, yeah, they're hitting as hard as they used to, or they're not breaking tackles like they were before. Well, really, when we started getting all them sacks, and then the offense started running the ball, I mean, I just figured, you know, they're starting to tap out. But you know, I give credit to Wake Forest as well. They came out and battled us tough early. So. Yeah, you did. Follow up on your speed. Is your forty time any better now than it was? Yeah, I would hope so. Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> We didn't, we didn't really, really do our uh, 40s because Coach Street said we had a fast team. <laughs> <laughs> Rich, uh, how do you how do you view the the playoff situation? Um, you know, I, I mean, I just let it let them decide. You know, uh, we, we feel like we're capable of being in that uh, top four. So, uh, I mean, two two teams went down, so hopefully we'll be in that in that uh, consideration. But you know, we we just worry about winning games and then let the rest take care of itself. Ever come in your mind, I guess, thinking about like the Duke game, the Virginia game, that you guys kind of were, I guess, Chris, I didn't win big enough or whatever, that you all were like, you guys turned on here in the fourth quarter? Is that anything that comes to mind? Uh, you know, I, I feel like we we get more on ourselves about that, you know, not even worried about the college football playoffs or anything like that. We just lo love them to compete, and we sometimes we don't feel like we're competing at the level that we're capable of competing at. So, um, again, we're just worried about us, like, uh, just executing our plays and then letting the rest take care of itself. Keith, what uh, what did the defense have to do without Josh Harvey Clemens, and what did that? What do you have to account for when he's not out there? I mean, you know, Josh is a big physical safety. You know, he's six five, two twenty something. But you know, we have guys that's played all season, like D. Smith, you know, Zach Cannon. So those guys have already played in the season and they've experienced as well. So you know, they came out there and they didn't miss a beat. You know, so we expected that out of them. We expect nothing less, but we hope to get Josh back soon. All right, guys. All right, y'all.